Yes, this is very nerve-wracking. Today, we have a connection time of only 39 minutes at the world's busiest airport, Atlanta, Georgia. By the time our first flight touches down, the next one will already be boarding. And that's not all. We're sitting at the very back of the plane to really put this short connection time to the ultimate test. Will we make it? Keep watching to find out and get some useful tips for your next connecting flight. This is the video Jeb was almost too scared to make. <laughs> Have you ever had a connection so short you're worried about it before you even checked in for the flight? Well, that's us. We're flying through Atlanta, Georgia, the world's busiest airport. We've only got 39 minutes to make the connection. Join us to find out whether we can do it. Today's trip will require two flights. The first, from Greensboro, North Carolina, is scheduled to pull into the gate in Atlanta just as our second flight to Charleston, South Carolina, begins boarding. This is going to be tight. We printed our boarding passes and then joined the line to drop off a bag. Could I carry this one on? Absolutely. But what's the fun in that when we can find out whether a checked bag can make a tight connection too? And speaking of the connection, Atlanta is a huge airport, so we checked our commute. C-37A3, not ideal. In Atlanta, the minimum connection time, or MCT, is 35 minutes. We've only got four more than that. Now, I'll share more about MCTs a little later, but for now, we've got to get through security. No pre-check on these tickets. We both have status with Delta Airlines. I'm a diamond and Suzanne is a gold medallion member. We're used to uh, being able to check in through Sky Priority and that kind of thing. We didn't do that. Uh, we didn't take advantage of any of the uh, status because we didn't want to upgrade. Our seats are as far back as we could get them. Now, if you're booking a tight connection, I recommend sitting as far forward as you can just to save a little bit of time deboarding. But we're making this as challenging as we possibly can. In a perfect world, how long of a connection do you want when you book something? What do you look for? I mean, Atlanta, really any hub airport, like I would probably go for like three hours. Cool. No one has three hours. For myself, I would say an hour and a half would usually do it. Our first flight was on board a 717, which meant there could be as many as 108 other passengers on board, most of whom were seated in front of us. Now we were fortunate to be on board the 717 because its seating is arranged in a 2-3 configuration and we were on the side with only two seats. 37, boarding starting on time. That's a good sign. You play your boarding and started, but we haven't seen anyone down the plane yet. It's been about six minutes, so losing time. Here we go. Here we go. One concession we made is that we asked for permission to board with diamonds uh, as a result of, of my status, which I'm fortunate enough to have. So we were able to get on the plane and get settled in a little earlier than we would have otherwise. Now that's not gonna save any time, of course, in Atlanta. So that 39 minute test is ongoing. Let's find out. We allegedly have 30 minutes uh, or 39 minutes, but really we don't because boarding starts <laughs> when we're supposed to land in Atlanta. We're about 20 minutes to schedule departure time. How are you feeling about this? I mean, it's in, the, it's in somebody else's hands at this point. I mean, I, there's nothing I can do other than um, keep my fingers crossed. I think we're going to have a bit of a dash through the Atlanta airport, though. I think we have good luck on our side. I think taking a morning flight helps. Um, I think the weather's good today, so that's in our favor. So I think we're going to do it. I think that might have been a mistake to say. Oh, <laughs> is there any wood I could knock on around here? My head. <laughs> I'll set up front, waiting on the final paperwork. We get it once airborne, 50 minutes, five zero zero. Boarding doors closed, uh, so that means we're on our way. And I just keep looking up ahead uh, to the front of the plane, thinking that's a long way to go and a lot of people to get off before we can leave in Atlanta. Minimum connection time, or MCT, is defined by the International Air Transport Association as the shortest time interval required in order to transfer a passenger and his or her luggage from one flight to a connecting flight in a specific location or metropolitan area. The times are usually determined by a committee that might include representatives from airlines or the airport itself and other key groups. And once it's determined, it's loaded into airline reservations systems and prevents passengers from booking connections that are simply too tight. Here's another quick tip. Use the bathroom during the flight. That could save you a few minutes on the ground. In Atlanta, the minimum connection time is 35 minutes, so our 39-minute connection should be fine. But what a committee thinks is a good idea and how things actually work in the real world can be two very different things. Have you missed your connection in Atlanta? Let us know in the comments below.
Well, we've just landed. Uh, we're taxiing over to gate C37, and we've got to make our way back over to A30. It's not over yet. Plus, don't forget, I checked a bag. Seatbelt signs off. Let's go. Do a favor for the next passengers. Close your window shade so it's a little cold, a little cooler in here. Nothing is moving yet. Might be a little while. All right, we're up and moving. Gotta find the lane here. <laughs> If you're hanging out in the uh, in the concourse, I highly recommend uh, moving. Thirty seconds to the next train. Our flight got in a little, little early, but then waiting to get off the plane so long, being the way back, uh, we're kind of back on time. Here. All right, yeah. So you know, boarding has begun on the next leg. Here comes the train. Let's uh, let's get on board. The signs and announcements are pretty clear down here. We're boarding in the C concourse. We we'll travel past B. Not our stop. And then we'll exit at the stop for the A concourse. This is how you put rocket fuel in an escalator. Tip to make your connection. You might want to work out first. <laughs> Are we going to make this? All right, we're at A24. Uh, just uh, how many more to go? Four more. Uh, there's no, there's no blood in my brain anymore. It's, it's all in my legs to get there. So it's so weird to rush through here. I've never done that. We're boarding down there, and Suzanne needed to go to the bathroom. So now I'm waiting, watching the boarding. This is killing me. Uh, here she comes. Made it. That's our plane. Now the bad news is I don't know if my bag did. So let's find out. As Mark Twain once said, I've had a lot of worries in my life. Some of them actually happen. And as a gate agent once told me, you're never really late for your flight. You're just early for the next one. It's time to get on this plane, which is great news. I, I'm relieved. But now I want to share a little bit about how these minimum connection times at airports work. So maybe you can have a better sense of whether a tight connection will actually work for you or not. Our turn, all rose. Let's go. It turns out there really is something to making a minimum connection time. Well. At least if you leave in the morning, which reduces risks like late arriving airplanes or crews. Also, as Suzanne mentioned, we had good weather and that helped a lot. So an MCT can work really well when everything's operating at peak. That said, in a previous video, I actually timed myself walking from gate T1 to F1. That's about as far as you can walk in Atlanta. And that took 38 minutes at a very leisurely pace. Now, if I'd used the train or moving walkway, even a connection like that could be done well within the 35-minute MCT. We comfortably made our 39-minute connection here, despite sitting nearly at the back of our first flight and having to connect through multiple concourses. And I really believe you can, too. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Do you think the bag made it? That's a probably. I'm going to go with I hope so. Between now and the next time, see you in the sky. I've been to the airport with you a lot of times. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you so nervous <laughs> and flustered as you are right now. Yeah, I, I am nervous. Slow. Can you take a deep breath now? Yeah, I mean, I, yes. <laughs> All that worry, as as uh, uh, who was Sam? Who wrote Tom? Mark Twain. As Mark Twain once said. <laughs>